The facade industry is rapidly growing with the rise of technology in the building and construction industry. The first facade conference, the World of Facades Africa, took place at the Intercontinental Hotel on the 4th of May 2017. The exclusive conference on facade design and engineering attracted professionals in the building and construction industry from across the world. Leading experts in the facade industry discussed several important topics in the field. Devandra Lava, director of Prime Aluminium Casement, explained the challenges faced in the delivery of a facade project. Problems with the importation of materials, we find that in Kenya that uh, importing materials is a challenge. Uh, we have limited amount of uh, supplies in this industry for the facade uh, industry. Uh, the another one is uh, unrealistic contractor durations. As mentioned earlier, facade contractors are brought in at a late stage. Uh, then there's a slow delivery of sometimes client materials as well. There's inadequate technical knowledge, knowledge of the stakeholders in the decision-making process. The non-involvement of a building facade consultant and the late involvement of the specialist facade subcontractor. Venki Kosaraju of Yuk Middle East discussed the types of sustainable aluminium windows and door profile framing that are widely used for facade purposes. The profile system can be used to restore an old uh, building without changing any of its architectural features. Alex Danziguan, the marketing director of Techno for Middle East, spoke on the solutions for saving energy, environment, and money in the building and construction industry. With aluminum is the ideal uh, material in terms of structural performance, durability, design flexibility, and recyclability. Coming back to our environment, you can recycle the aluminum, extrude it again with the same strength, with the same uh, structural resistance. Basic uh, definition of a thermal break is uh, to help separate an aluminum profile in two parts using an isolating strip. Basically, you don't want the energy to go through the metal from one side to the other. So you're breaking it, that's why it's called the thermal break. Uh, the conductivity of aluminum is 160 watts uh, per meter Kelvin, while the one of polyamide is 0.3. This is 500 times less conductive. That's why this works with polyamide. And of course, when it comes to the hot side or the cold side, but more of the uh, cooling or heating is much more expensive than heating. The director of Impala Glass, Hussein Habatula, explained how double glassing units can be used in the Kenyan climate. It was generally assumed that it's only required for extreme temperatures, both hot and cold, and that it's not applicable in Nairobi's climatic condition. But today, it's realized that insulated glass is a very good choice for this climate. A good example is the Leme project on Wayaki Bay opposite Safari Kong headquarters. There was a lot of dis discussion with the developer of the project where the glass facade is facing the west, resulting in intense solar heat. And with, with this intensity, he wanted to minimize the cooling cost. We arrived at a solution that a double glass unit with a high performance glass can be used. He also emphasized on the importance of good framing when installing glass in buildings. For acoustic performance, framing is very critical. And if not done properly, even the best glass will fail as the sound will pass through the frame. frame. A panel discussion explained understanding facade process management. They discussed facade delivery as well as proper selection of facades. The building is as good as a person who builds it. It's not really about the money that you put in it. You could put in buildings and buildings, uh, but if you got the, the team wrong, um, I think garbage in, garbage out. For good quality projects to be delivered on time, the panel group emphasized on the need for teamwork. The team is very key to a proper execution. The experience of the team is very key, uh, both on the spoliation side and the execution side. Cost factor in choosing the type of facade to use in a building was also discussed at length. Cost tend to be discussed at the very beginning, and uh, usually the client tends to take that number that you give them at the beginning with an optimistic heart that I will find a way of cutting down this number. I will find a way of negotiating my way down with this number. Now when those, when those numbers are negotiated down, quality begins to be compromised and the execution begins to be a nightmare at that point.